Hi there, in this video we are going to see why uh, using Google Analytics is not good for economy. So um, I'm not going to introduce in detail what is Google Analytics, but just to let you know that Google Analytics run uh, the analytics market with 85% of market shares. It's really easy actually to check out that the website is using uh, Google Analytics. You just need to go on it and then you just do a right click and then you um, examine the element and then you look through the storage and then when you see some cookies such as those it means that those are uh, google analytics cookies so if you would like to have an idea of how many uh, companies or let's say institutions in your own country are using google analytics you just basically need to go to alexa.com which belongs to amazon uh, here for example is for uh, france and here out of the list uh, which is uh, just a sample in fact of uh, how popular is a website in, in France here for example you can easily identify which company are for France and then go on their website and then see if they are using Google Analytics or not. <clears throat> uh, the point that I would like to make in this uh, video is like uh, using Google Analytics such as this on those given website is not good for our economy because uh, Google Analytics is gathering all the data of all uh, those different uh, websites. But in order to uh, prove this and show how it looks like from the Google Analytics perspective, I'm going to use uh, Matomo. So in uh, Matomo Analytics, which is a straight competitor to uh, Google Analytics, but as a free software, you have a great plugin, which is called SignUp, which allows you to create, so it's uh, I think we can find it uh, to do, do, do. And find it up here sign up so this plugins once you install it it will give you a view such as the one of google analytics in order to create account and this is um, from this that you can see uh, how powerful it is so i installed it on my uh, local uh, matomo and as you can see once it's installed on your uh, matomo instance so for example here this is my uh, Matomo instance, you have the possibility to create accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create account for those three companies that you can see over here. So which is orange.fr, which is sfr.fr, and which is allucine.fr, which are the top most viewed website in France after all those given American website companies. So let's uh, let's go for it. So let's create the first one. So it's going to be orange. I'm going to put as uh, so it's going to be orange at orange. .fr is going to be as password. I'm going to put like uh, a range. Oh, no, I'm going to put like root root. root root. Okay, so I can create my account. So now I have an account uh, which is going to be created. So it's going to be this, this, and I say it was root and root. So root and root. Okay, create an account. Okay, so let's imagine that this is orange and orange.fr. So let's imagine that I'm an orange employee and I would like to uh, put Google Analytics on uh, my website. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, register such as I did. So now I have an account such as in Google Analytics. I get my tracking code and I just copy and paste it on uh, the, my given website, so orange.fr, in order to be able to track all uh, the visitors of my website on it. Then imagine that another uh, company is coming in to play and create an account as well. So imagine that it's going to be SFR, that SFR, that SFR. Okay. And then password is going to be the same for me. Oops. Going to be like, uh, like this. Going to be SFR, SFR. And going to be like root, root. And same stuff. Okay, so I'm just here creating accounts for those uh, different different entities. So nothing, nothing really fancy. Okay, and I can continue like this to show you different examples, such as Alicine at uh, I don't know anything. Dot fr and and same stuff. Okay, so all those three companies now have an account created in um, Matomo. So in my case here, I'm using it as a substitution to uh, Google Analytics. So, yups. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, all those companies have nothing in common because those accounts are all individuals. But what's gonna happen actually from uh, the Google Analytics admin uh, point of view is this. So I'm going to go uh, over here and I'm going to uh, go over here. And if I look at all websites, so 
this is the view in fact of um, of what the super user at Google Analytics is saying. He's seeing the Orange website, he's seeing the, all the other websites which have been created by, uh, by others, such as the one that I just created, SFR, and such as Allocene. So I probably made a typo. So here it means that at Google headquarters, they have the possibility to see for each website which have been created, how many websites um, are registered, how many visits they are getting, how many page views, how much revenues they are generated. In fact, the more all those companies have advanced analytics knowledge, the more they are going to collect some valuable data. And of course, uh, the more data are going to be fed by uh, to the system, to, uh, to Google Analytics. And of course, if uh, Google wants to know which company is making the most money, well, they just have to look at the dashboard and they know exactly which company is, is uh, generating the most. Uh, turnover and they can of course investigate uh, even more uh, within each visitor because all those companies are in fact doing all the work uh, for them and that's everything that I wanted to show you and that's why I strongly advise you to use a different solution than uh, than Google Analytics. Uh, Matomo is a great fit because it's self-hosted so it means that uh, you're gonna have your own database on your own server. It means that no one except your own employees could get an access to those data. And that's it for today. So as usual, do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social networks.